welcome to another edition of the sports agenda here on alliance plus tv my name is Cecil Nita Kotego. Alliance Plus TV is actually projecting what we call the least finance sports. Where most of the people don't have eyes for, we go and we bring out the news. This time around, we are doing what we call the roll ball. Most people don't know what the roll ball is all about. But today, we have a federation that is out there. They've traveled far and wide. And they are bringing harness to Madagana. And we are here today to meet one of all the representative of robo in ghana the robo in ghana and he will talk us through most of the things that they do that the eyes are not seeing this particular segment is being sponsored by mac eagle enterprise when it comes to scaling and weights you can get them anywhere any weight at all that you want be it a scale for anything that you do domestically or commercially just go to Mac Eagle Enterprise. You find them around the Mankwaje runabout in Tema. Their numbers are down there on the screens. You can just take the number, call them, do business. We're going for a quick break. When I come back, I'll introduce my guest. We zoom straight into action. Semi pitless weight bridges, modular weight bridges, electronic weighing scale, uh, track weighing scale, mobile weighing bridges pitless and pit skills and we have the weighing skill for the chicken lab uh, pallet skill and floor skill or we have them here if you want the best quality skill in ghana you can contact us on 026 444 0402 or 026 200 0030 or 0244-148-456. You are welcome to Mark Eagle Enterprise in Tema, Mankwadi Runabout, A17. Thank you. Welcome back. You still logged up here on Sports Agenda on Alliance Plus TV. Cecil Nita Kotego is the name. And I'm speaking to the president of Ghana Rule Rule Ball Federation. I'm talking about there's a new thing that even most of us are hearing for the first time. But checking from their background is being in assistance and it's even in the system already. I have the president of the Ghana Rule Ball Federation in the person of Mr. Johnson Gameli Potofi. And he will be taking he will be talking to us concerning what Rule Ball is all about and the way forward for Ghana Rule Ball Federation. Good morning, sir. Oh, morning, boss. <laughs> It's always a pleasure when I sit with such presidents to elaborate more when it comes to the least finance sports. Most journalists out there do basically football. We always want to go to the grassroots to bring them up to speed concerning what least finance sports is all about. What is real ball? This is the first time I'm hearing of the Real Ball Federation. You've been in existence after checking through whatever I have seen. You've been in existence for quite a long time. We have a trophy here representing something that you've won or you've achieved just over the weekend or maybe a week or two ago. Tell us what Robo is all about. Thank you. Thank you, my, my brother. Yes, sir. So my name is Johnson Gamere Kotrofe. I'm the president of Robo Federation Ghana. I am also the general secretary of West Africa Robo Federation. Okay. Robo is a three discipline together. And it's like handball, basketball, and you need to know how to wear a roller shoe and you have your own particular roles. It's a nice game, very exciting game. You know, when I saw Robo, what I do roller sports, and roller sports is, was a marvelous sport I see. And missing roller sports with basketball and handball give another taste. And for me, doing sports or doing rollers ball, roll ball, and other things, because of seeing the youth around. When you go to Kaswa, you go to Seiko, Medina, everywhere, you see the youth around who cannot be employed because no job for them. What can they do? They don't have anything to do. Yeah. I see that we lack, the majority of them lack of education. It's not that they are not going to school. Yes, they are going to school. But when we talk about education, we need another education. 
who is like someone who does sports the person seeing talent the person who not involve can, cannot involve himself in other activities like such as robbing narcotics and other things that is what i see and it's not only in ghana when you travel i travel a lot Niger, Benin, Senegal, Zambia, Zimbabwe. When you see the youth, it's not only Ghana we are having that problem. But some countries are solving it. Like Morocco. Morocco, when you went to Morocco today, you see Morocco have a lot of facility when it comes to sports. Skilling sports. You go to Kenya, the same thing. They invest in their talents. But Ghana will focus on only in football. What can we do to help? That's why me, I'm doing robo. I believe this robot can help. I mean, um, it's, 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 it's quite something if um, we should say that a um, robot has not come to stay. We have a trophy. I'm seeing the Maiden Robot Federation Ghana Anniversary Cup, which means something has gone on with whatever initiative you started is now yielding fruits. The fruits are what we're seeing here. How did robot come to Ghana? And how did robot get to the youth and then now they are participating in robo hey thank you so much for that it's true and uh, robo was in ghana but robo registered himself in ghana in 2018 okay because after having a congress in senegal and giving assignment they have given assignment to manage the africa the west africa you know i need to wake up and wake up everybody and started working i don't need to sleep Sure. You know, if Ghana is big, I'm big. If Ghana is small, I'm small. Sure. As a Ghanaian, holding Ghana flag outside, I need to work hard and sure. get out there. That's why I speed up and started working. In the very beginning, when I started working, I met a man like Peace Ambassador, Mr. Clement Jato, who gave me a certain court and at uh, the aviation land, in the middle of the aviation land there, where I used to train the boys. I trained them a lot and give them adequate training for them to go out there and play robo. I called them from by 10 region and they were here training and yes I see that something was improving and they love it and I see changes amount of part of them because if you could see the tournament we made last time I said yes to sports no to drugs because these boys are involving themselves in other things why how what can we do to reduce to, to remove them out of street and they will not do that again. That's why we are doing it. When Mr. Jato gave me that kind of opportunity, and I was gradually, gradually going and growing, then today we are somewhere. Yes, I really. I'm so far fascinated with whatever you are saying. I mean, um, for the first time, I'm hearing Robo, but not knowing it's been in existence. Actually, looking or going through, I saw the Robo World Cup that was held in 2005 in India. This is a gradual process. But where do you believe Robo should be the target in terms of Ghana now having a Robo Federation? Is it the world? Is it Africa? Or where are we targeting now? For me, the first place, yes, Ghana will, ta will target robots coming to stay in the world. We just created Robo in 2003. But the robot is growing fast in the world. You know, uh, we have a, just a few days ago, we have some meeting. Robot is growing too, too fast. It's the game of future. But that's not the issue. The first issue, remove the youth from the streets. We give them, occupy them with something to do. That's what they're doing. That's what we want. And we want the corporate board of Ghana to come in and support. And we do something with us. We bring what we are doing. And we bring robot out there. And for me, what I want, we don't want any big thing. Support, get your team, I get my team. And let's go, we have our league. No boys, no dumb moment in Robo. No dumb moment in Robo. If you could look at the video of Robo, no dumb moment. Robo is very excited for the beginning to the end. Okay, what me, I'm predicting today, corporate board out there is that the Minister of Youth, uh, the Minister of Youth, uh, Mr. Mustafa, uh, it Yusuf, should be yeah. yes, uh, Yusuf, uh, and how they call it uh, the highway minister uh, and the uh, urban roads. We are pleading with them because we need the youth, it's not only robot, the youth want to play. 
the youth want to be occupied. What can we do to occupy the youth? That's what I'm pleading for. If you go to Tetekwashi right about today, you see a court over there who is like, you see green glass where we are spending money on every day, every year. Why we can't use those kind of things to do a facility, like a skating facility whereby 20, 20 to 30 sports can use it? Handball, volleyball, robot, music, other things can use it. That's why I passed by this image and that's one great man in Ghana here who is the Pastor Enes. Pastor Enes for Christ Embassy. This man has done something great to us. When we, I was doing robot, this man said, oh, today this man created somewhere when we are talking about standard robot court is the man who created in Ghana. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's very, very pleasing when you hear individuals or philanthropists doing things that they have to do to change the fortunes and lives of these youngsters. I mean, we can say much and say more. Philanthropists like Magdan, he has done it and he's doing it for tennis. Now, there's another man also who is doing it for robo. This is where we have to go for a break. When we come back, we look at the future of Ghana robo, the way forward, the branding, and how they get their monies done because this is just the starting. We are looking at the future. What can we do to make these youngsters great in this world? Let's go further. Semi pitless weight bridges, modular weight bridges, electronic weighing skill, uh, track weighing skill, mobile weighing bridges, pitless and pit skills. And we have the weighing skill for the chicken, lab, uh, pallet skill, and floor skill. Or we have them here if you want the best quality skill in Ghana you can contact us on 026 444 0402 or 026 200 0030 or 0244 you are welcome to Mark Eagle Enterprise in Tema Mankwadi Runabout A17 thank you Welcome back. You're still logged up here on the Sports Agenda here on Alliance Plus TV. My name is Cecil Nita Kotegu and I'm here with the President of the Ghana Robo Federation in the person of Mr. Johnson Gameli Potofi. And he is taking us through what Robo needs to be done and then needs to do to improve upon wherever it is now. And I believe moving forward, there will be more corporate bodies who will be coming on to help and then shape and take out the kids off the streets and let robo now be in existence whereby everybody will be key to play a figure in robo in ghana and then raise us to the highest of all levels now let's look at the branding as i came i saw you in a ghana jersey with the robo badge just closer to you in terms of keating in terms of maybe traveling finances how do corporate bodies or who comes to your aid who helps out because this is going to be not a nine day competition day in day out there will be african championship there will be world championships who helps in terms of financing the ghana robot federation <laughs> it's so difficult to say you know uh, truly when we start because people don't believe they want to see the reality it's true. I'll pass by here and dance one great company, uh, who is a KS group of company, and Mr. Kerit, uh, and the time of Africa. Some time ago, I have a meeting with them. I went to India for coaches training and have a meeting with them. And they accept to, do, to handle our social media in terms of communication and design a website and all those platforms for us and follow as a, so a communication media partner. But because of COVID-19, we couldn't finish all those discussions yet. But I think they are doing great because today when they come to Robo, when you go to Time of Africa, they always highlight the Robo uh, activities. And they are designing a very good website for us, who is done one, and they are continuing doing great things in our life. 
But after that, we still calling for people to come because it's not only social media. We need we need to wear JC, Ghana JC. We need to wear we need a lot of things when it comes to because it's Ghana. The matter here is Ghana. Any company who can come, we are ready. Okay, now. Where do the guys train? Because uh, most of the time, the media will say, oh, I've not heard about a robot before. Where do they train? Where do most of the time they engage these youngsters? Where do you meet to facilitate, even promote the youth or talk to them off the streets or where you gather to do all those things? You know, it has been very difficult when it comes to standard court of robot. But when you go to Kumasi Stadium, you see the youth out of the stadium, in the front of the stadium, every like weekend training for robot. Uh, if you come to, you go to how they call it, a uh, touchy mine, the same thing happened in the youth center. They try over there, but it's difficult because other activity will pass before they will come and train. When you come to circle, Circle in the front of caterpillar cats. Yeah. You see some of the Somebody youth are training. Uh, it's not courts. It's like a cemented place, and the youth come there and come and train. In the aviation on here, and those are the place. We get a lot of place, but there are no standard court for the youth to be using. Like last, some two months ago, the boys were playing game at Legon. The security men arrest them because they don't want them to play over there. And they arrest them. But when you come to the Young Recreational Center, we have a standard court there. And that was a great man, Pastor Ernest, that was what he done. A, a standard court. But for me, I'm pleading to the authorities. They should know. Same place like Malam Junction. Malam Junction today is a lot of people pass there. They know they are not staying in Ghana, but because it's an international road. And the place is bad where they are selling some and they sit in there. We robot can took that place and rebranding it. A company can come in like MTN, like Tigo, we don't know. And we have the design down. And they can use it and create standard robot courts. It will not be just robot court, but a lot of sports can use it. About 20 sports can use it. The same as the question run about. I said the same as okay Kumasi. Uh, you know, when you go to the, how they call it, I take cooks. The boys are using the stadium. The same. But those place, they use car park. They are not standard robot court. We are calling the government to come. As general secretary, the robot, as the general secretary of West Africa, what happened? The plan is, after the president organized, it will be the general secretary who organize the second. That means 2022, robot West Africa game will be held in Ghana. And now we are not having the court. Wow. We are calling um, on the corporate board to come. I mean, um, how many players play the robot? Because um, from checking from what I have seen, I see 12. You have six playing, and then six will be reserved. They come in concurrently. You you change and then they come in. How well do you facilitate all these? How do you know this is a good player? This comes in. And how is the marking scheme? How do one score a goal or what is being done on that particular day for one person to win a game of robot? You know, <laughs> robot is a skillful game. And robot have its own role. Okay. And it's true when it comes to players. The six players on the court is twelve on the team and six on the plane. The fair enough. Robot have a lot of rule whereby, like we have the area for the keeper, where a teammate or opponent team cannot cut the line. That the area. We have the changing zone, and we have certain things will be done when you come to robot. There's a lot of technical question there. That is where we are I put dot in the technique department and the technical director Rahman, uh, Rahman uh, Musa. We are putting things together to see how best we can train a lot of technical uh, technicians to get to make good robot 
Christian. You know, during the COVID-19 moment, I organized a lot of uh, referee calls, uh, technical coaches calls. I organized a lot. A lot of people come in and they, they have a lot of certificates. When you come, you see someone like George Armando, and you have a lot of certificates when you come to Yes Robo. And we have a lot, a lot across Ghana today. They do technique, they do international like local. I always organize for them by Zoom, by G meeting, and all those things. We all always organize those kind of training for them. And I want to do more and more and more because we want robot to grow and grow and grow and grow. Voter Regin, they play robot when you go to Atlau, they play robot in the immigration hall. Wow, I mean, um, we've seen this anniversary cup. Can you school us a little bit about what this maiden anniversary cup is all about? Yeah, the anniversary cup is Robo is having 18 years. Okay, the 18 years of Robo, we need to celebrate it across the world. That's why we too are preparing ourselves towards the tournament, and we need to see the players who are playing, how best they are going. That's why we face for all. We put the trophy down for them to play. And about 10 teams come and participate. And when they participate, four teams qualify for the semi final and final. That's what we play on the 20th match. But uh, how they call it? They call it Light Robo Team won the trophy. And that means when we come to champion the robot today in Ghana, it's light robot club. They beat everyone, you know. <laughs> and when you say light robot club, if you see them, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're big in mind. Wow. Do you have um, any championship in terms of, um, do you have further competitions that you it will be organized in Ghana? In terms of Africa, do you have championship yeah. at the world? Stage two, do you have any championship that Ghana needs to take part in? Yes, uh, the, um, in September 25th, 29th, we are going to the West Africa game that we have seen earlier. But before all those things, we are playing this game to see how good the boys are who are good, who are not good because we need to select at least 20 players and remove up to 12 players. Then after that, we need to play Balatwa game with like Togo. See, you go away, home away, and we need to go and play with Africa to see the strength if of this the team. team is qualified to play for Ghana in the name of Ghana. It's not playing the name of Johnson. Okay, I get him. No, Johnson just pick some friends and go and play and say I'm playing for Ghana. No, we see if these boys are qualified to play for Ghana. And that is what we are doing. It's a technical member, a technical selection committee, and we are trying. We, we have put a team together, and that is the process we are doing now. I think it remains some few who will be selected um, in the day of uh, 6 April. It remains some few players who will be added to those ones who have been selected already, and they will be come and we will start again. Okay, okay, so it means that Ghana, we have. Um the roadmap already yes. so we have to follow the roadmap yes. but in terms of africa do you have any championship that we need to go and how about the world Please. yeah the africa tournament this year i have cancelled it i just want to go to west africa okay west africa because of uh, the COVID and the the finance this thing too is a lot and where would the west african own be held in senegal Dakar. okay and after that we have us when is the date 25th September to 29th. Okay, September. All right. And after that, we have the World Game too in Dubai. Okay. December. Oh, okay. So it means that if the Ghanaians are able to go to Africa and they do marvelously well, then it means that in terms of going to Dubai is a mere formality. Yes, we are already qualified for that, but just that we need to prepare ourselves very well again before go there. All right. And if you go, we need. You know, train is other things. That is where I'm calling my minister and my minister, the president, and the National Sports Authority 
board, eh? Professor Chumessi, everybody should come on. For us to train. They should not look at Gameli Johnson. No, it's not Gameli. The issue is not Gameli again. It's the youth. It's Ghana. We made that for Ghana. That is what we want. And the, what the boys are doing in Ghana today, forget. <laughs> forget. Not, no continent can stand in the front of Ghana today. Okay. Yes. You know, let's go. They need to give adequate training. I believe in that. I believe. I don't believe in. No. I believe in good work. Let's work hard and train these youth. Send them. Because I want the trophy. Okay. Win or win, I don't want to lose. I never lose. I win or win. Okay. That's me. I mean, um, this is where time is going to permit us, but I'll just ask him one or two questions. I mean, there are certain companies that have actually helped him to be where he is now. I'll give him the mantle for him to tell us the companies that have favored him. If he still needs more, he can put their contact. That is the Ghana Robo Federation out there. Anybody or any philanthropist who would love to place his money on Robo because the starting is very difficult. The finishing is very, very bright. Let's start early. Let's finish early. And let Ghana always smile when it comes to Robo. So say you have the floor. Just let us know any company that has actually helped you and then the way forward for Ghana Robo and your number or the numbers that they can get you on to push the agenda of Ghana Robo straight to the world. Okay. Um, by this, by your voice, I'm thanking once again uh, KS Info System at the time of Africa who is doing marvelous things to us. Uh, designing social media is not easy. And website and all those things because we need to go out there communicate we need a communication because we are not having the money but they say they will do that and they are doing it we thank them and we want them to continue what they promise they should do it for us and by then and dion recreational center dion recreational center yes i i the man pastor ns i'll pass by and thank him and say he believes in this youth and he's doing it. God blessed him today and blessed him and blessed him and blessed him again. And he should continue doing it because this is what we want. You can buy your big house and buy a big car. One day they will smash it for you. If the youth are involving themselves in drugs, where are we going? We are not safe. And today you see, so a few days ago, you see the policemen. They are stopping people, doing checkup. I get him, they will search you, searching, searching, because they say there's a lot of midra, there's a lot of robbery, and all those things. How can we solve all those problems? We need to invest in the youth, and all those problems will be resolved. That's why I'm calling you. Say no to drugs, yes to sports. Let's go together. Let's work together. And I think something. I mean, your contact or anybody who wants to help out? Yeah, the contact, the Robot Federation website is Robot Federation, GH dot org. Okay. Uh, Facebook, Robot Ghana. Uh, Instagram, Robot underscore Ro underscore Bo underscore Ghana. On Twitter, Rogan. Okay. I mean, um, this has been very, very massive. You've elaborated more. You've been able to thank some of the people who helped out to today. These youngsters are smiling. But the smiles are not only for today. It should be for elasticity and it should go to the brain. This is where time is going to permit almost all of us. We are very, very happy. We're bringing you another lease finance post in the in Ghana Robo Federation. This is my first time of seeing it. This is my first time of hearing them. But they've been in existence for quite a long time. They spent their anniversary over 18 years. Yes, the first World Cup was held in 2005. So 18 years down the dream, 2021. It means Robo has actually come and has come to stay. I was here and I was with Mr. Johnson Gameli Potofi. He happens to be the president of the Ghana World Ball Federation. I'd like to say a very big thank you to you. As we came to you, you elaborated. We are taking whatever you said 
back to the media for them to know there is no ball and there is a future for these youngsters. This is where I say bye-bye to you. Have a good afternoon.